Hey, this is my Kindle Fire, and I have rooted it. Yes, rooted it on um, 6.2.2. I had it rooted previously on 6.2.1, but Amazon released a new update and I lost my root. Tragedy. So I'm just going to power it up here. And um, see this logo? It's different from the lo normal logo, and if I was to hold the power button right now, it would boot into the Torp Recovery. And um, that's how you flash different ROMs. On this Kindle, I actually flash the Cyanogen Mod 7. And you're going to see the bootloader come up pretty quickly here after this disappears. And it's a great improvement over the stock Kindle Fire interface. See, there you go, Cyanogen Mod 7. It up here for a minute. And here we go. Alright, took a second to load there, but here we go. I have the Synergy Mod 7, like I said. I'm running um, Launcher Pro. It's smoother than the stock Synergy Mod 7. I have um, Ice Cream Sandwich widget here. I actually use, I'm using a ice cream sandwich theme down here for the home <clears throat> for the home this is the it brings it to the home see there bring you back back button works search button works and this functions as a menu button over here in the corner I have the time battery level and the notification bar I've actually set to come from the bottom so there you See that pretty well. Very smooth. All right, and because um, this is Synergy Mod 7, you have the Android Market installed on there. Actually, they've just renamed it Google Play. I'm not sure what their plan, what Google's plans are with that, but I'm sure that will be to come. And um, you can still use the Kindle on here. You can download the Kindle app off the. Android store and you can still read books so you don't lose the functionality as a e-reader. I have the Steve Jobs biography on here see that and it turns pages just like the stock Kindle Fire and um, you saw earlier how I tapped the arrow down here and it hid the home bar to um, there's no physical buttons on the Kindle Fire besides this button right here. So, to get back to the home screen, you have to hold the button, you get this menu, and you tap home. Say, so now we're back. I also have a um, background setup that you can change the, the wallpaper. So you double tap. And the wallpaper changes. Pretty cool. Also, when you go from screen to sh screen, the wallpaper changes. And just to let you know, apps will look great on this. It's you can now get, like I said, apps from the Amazon, excuse me, the Android Market. And so there's a lot more available. I recently just got Where's My Water, World of Goo, Osmos HD, and Shadow Gun. Off the Android market, they were having a sale for 50 cents, I think, and I picked them up. Um, one thing is originally the Hulu Plus app from the market does not work, so there is a thread on the XDA forums where um, a wonderful developer developed a version that actually works for the Kindle Fire. So Hulu does work, um, and Netflix does as well. I won't show those to you for copyright reasons but all the Google Apps work also if you want to manage your volume I suggest since there's no buttons get a app like audio manager and it gives you a nice ice cream sandwich look but you have to turn the volume up and down with this I also use juice defender just because I use it on my um, my phone it's in 
HEC Inspire 4G. And so it says that it improved my battery by 1.53. I don't know what it actually does, but it works pretty well. I'll show you some um, Minecraft playing. It looks great on here. See a giant pole. High frames per second. It's because I'm actually um, overclocking using set CPU, and that um, boosts the quadrant score score and it um, and enhances gameplay. This ROM also works in uh, portrait mode, and it's still just snappy. One cool thing though is when you um, Turn off the screen by just tapping the button over here. Get that cool gingerbread and ice cream sandwich um, screen off animation. It's pretty cool. I also have widget locker set up. So I have a cool lock screen. Facebook over here. Unlock or change the volume. It's pretty cool. So this is a great, great enhancement over the original Kindle Fire stock ROM, and I greatly, greatly suggest that you root and install Cinema, Cinema, ah, excuse me, Cyanogen Mod 7. Cyanogen Mod 9 is coming out soon, and they're currently working on it, the wonderful developers, and I will definitely be picking that up. Thanks for watching.